Overseas, a far-right candidate for president of Austria hopes to duplicate what Donald Trump did. His people even flew here to talk strategy with Trump advisors. The election Sunday is a rerun of a vote that was held in May. Seth Doan has our story from Vienna. Norbert Hofer's right-wing Freedom Party narrowly lost last May. Founded by a former Nazi officer, the party campaigned hard on an anti-immigrant platform. That hasn't changed, but what has is the U.S. election. The Trump factor is here. Political commentator Thomas Hofer says Trump's win has emboldened Austria's right wing. You see huge parallels. The wall on the southern border uh, is well and alive here in Austria as, a, as an issue. Um, Anti-immigrant message, uh, anti-establishment message. There are overlapping tactics too, including fake news spread online. Here it was a phony yeah. diagnosis of cancer. It's, it's, it's about undermining, not only undermining the message of the, the, the other side, it's also, you know, spreading news, fake news. Back in May, we went on the campaign trail with Freedom Party boss Wolfgang Jung and got a taste of his anti-Muslim rhetoric. I don't want to want the mosque here. You don't want a mosque here? Yes. Today, Jung told us momentum is on their side. After Trump's surprise win, your candidate said, hey, we can do this too. Yes, and I hope so. <laughs> This is not just about Austria, Scott. The far right in France is watching this election, as is the country that took in the most refugees, Germany, where Chancellor Angela Merkel is facing a growing threat from an ultranationalist, anti-immigrant party. Seth Doan in Vienna for us. Seth, thank you.